Imagine this. A universe where ours is just one among an infinite array of parallel worlds, each as captivating as it is perplexing. Intriguing, isn't it? But also perhaps a tad unnerving. Now before you dismiss this thoughtful concept as mere science fiction, consider this. Numerous scientific theories actually lend credence to the existence of these parallel universes. It's a notion that sparks heated debates among scholars and scientists alike. But let's delve deeper. Our universe, a vast expanse of unfathomable proportions, teems with galaxies, stars and mysteries beyond comprehension. Yet could it be that amidst this cosmic symphony, there exist realms beyond our wildest dreams? Enter the realm of multiverses and parallel worlds, where the boundaries of possibility blur and the laws of physics dance in harmony with the unknown. Here, concepts like the Big Bang, string theory and quantum mechanics intertwine, offering tantalizing glimpses into the vast tapestry of existence. Yet amidst the uncertainty, one thing remains clear. To unlock the secrets of the cosmos, we must rely on the foundations of knowledge upon which we stand. So, fellow seekers of truth, let us embark on this cosmic odyssey together, armed with curiosity and a thirst for discovery. Let's take a trip back in time, about 13.7 billion years ago. Imagine everything we see today squeezed into a tiny dot called a singularity. Then, according to the Big Bang Theory, boom! The universe exploded, expanding faster than the speed of light in less than a second. This rapid expansion has led some researchers to wonder if there might be more than one universe out there. They're asking if the universe stopped growing everywhere at the same time. While the expansion stopped for what we can see from Earth 13.8 billion years ago, there could still be parts of the universe where this cosmic inflation is continuing. Some theoretical physicists propose that when inflation ends in one place, a new universe bubble forms. But here's the twist. You can't just jump from one bubble to another like space tourists. These bubble universes are expanding endlessly, and their boundaries are racing away from us faster than light can travel. And here's where it gets even trickier. Imagine we somehow reach the edge of our local bubble and encounter the next universe. Well, those same theoretical physicists suggest that the neighboring universe could be a totally different story. It might have entirely different rules of physics, making it a strange and unfamiliar place for us to explore. Expanding on this idea, some suggest that within this vast multiverse of bubble universes, there might be other life forms similar to us. The challenge, however, is that we're moving farther away from them with each passing moment, and our paths will never intersect. Meanwhile, other brilliant researchers are exploring the connection between parallel universes and quantum mechanics. Now, quantum mechanics is essentially the complex mathematics governing tiny particles. According to this theory, these particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. They refer to this as a wave function that encompasses all the possible outcomes. But here's the twist. When we observe these particles, we only perceive one result. It's as if the universe is playing a game of hide and seek with us. Enter the many worlds theory, a concept suggesting that whenever we observe one outcome, another universe sprouts into existence where a different outcome becomes reality. It's akin to our universe acting as a colossal tree, continually branching into countless versions of itself. However, these alternate universes remain isolated from each other, so we wouldn't even be aware if there are numerous others experiencing slightly or entirely different lives. The Many Worlds theory is quite bold and challenging to prove or disprove, which poses a challenge for science, as scientists thrive on testing and experimenting with their ideas. But consider this. If there's infinite space out there, why wouldn't there be infinite universes too? Picture the universe as a vast, cosmic playground. Some experts suggest that if it's truly boundless, 
then there's only a finite number of ways its fundamental building blocks can arrange themselves. Eventually, they must repeat certain patterns. If this is true, then somewhere out there, there might be another version of you living the exact same life, down to what you had for brunch yesterday. Did we ever have any proof of these supposed parallel universes? Well, some say we did. Have you heard the tale of the mysterious man from Torrid? It's the story of a man who ended up at a Japanese airport, claiming he was from a totally unknown country called Torrid. Now, some folks think it's proof of time travel, while others believe it's evidence he came from a different universe altogether. As much as you'd like to believe the story to be factual, the tricky part is this, Tord. There's a reason you haven't heard of it. There's no Tord to be found, whether in the present day or back in the 1950s when this supposed incident happened. After the airport incident, the man just vanished into thin air. A day after arriving in Japan, poof, gone, forever. Let's go back to that significant day in July 1954, when the man from Taurid supposedly arrived in Tokyo. Descriptions portray him as a bearded man who spoke French. Nothing too unusual yet, right? Depending on who's recounting the tale, things start to diverge a bit. In one version, when the man hands over his passport for stamping, the Japanese officer's eyes widen in surprise. While the passport appeared genuine, the country listed as Tord isn't recognized by anyone, including the officer and other officials. Naturally, they detain our visitor from Tord for questioning. In another version, the man boldly tells the officer he's from Tord and presents his passport as evidence. When the officer remains skeptical, our Tord man begins earnestly trying to convince them that his homeland is real. According to him, Tord is nestled between France and Spain and has existed for about 1,000 years. To bolster his claim, he even points to the area on a map that matches the location of the Principality of Andorra. Naturally, things take a mysterious turn. The officers decide to detain the man, suspecting he might be involved in something fishy. They arrange for him to stay in a nearby hotel for the night, but not without stationing two guards outside his room to keep an eye on him. Can you guess what happens next? And just like that, the mystery deepens as the man from Tarad vanishes into thin air, leaving behind only speculation and wild theories. Was he a time traveler journeying through the annals of history? Or perhaps an intergalactic explorer lost in the vastness of space and time? Sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. The most likely explanation, a case of someone's imagination running wild. With each retelling, the story grew more outrageous, morphing into the urban legend we know today. So while the idea of encountering a time traveler or extraterrestrial may be thrilling, let's not forget to separate fact from fiction. After all, sometimes reality is just as fascinating as any sci-fi tale. Stay skeptical, stay curious, and remember to question everything. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled for the extraordinary and the ordinary.